St. John's County is one of the fastest growing counties in the entire country, and a big part of that is the school system. Now the St. John's County School District is expanding to accommodate all of those new residents. Jocelyn Howard is live now with our first look inside the county's newest campus. Jocelyn. You said it, Heather. The county is growing so fast and the schools are just trying to keep up. So behind me here, I'm not sure how easy you can see it because it's getting dark here, but it's High School HHH. That's its temporary name right now. And it's supposed to hold about 1300 students once it opens up here next year. Now, most of those students will be transferring over here from Nice High School, giving that very crowded campus some more room. Every time we drive by, you know, it's really cool to see. It's huge. It's really neat just to kind of compare the plans to what's going up. Jen Leonard's son Aiden will be one of the first students to step foot in high school HHH. Everything is just so crowded and it's nice that we're going to be able to break up some of that crowding. The school will have unique opportunities that Principal Jay Willits says aren't available to many other schools in the county. You will be uh, a collegiate high school. Students can actually start um, earning a, their AA as early as ninth grade. Willett says the school is designed to prepare kids for post-secondary programs after graduation. The school consists of three academies, construction management, emerging technology, and health care. Get open a school like this is pretty special. Willett's daughter will also be an incoming freshman after the school's opening. He says he's just as excited for his daughter to have these unique opportunities. Depending on what her interests are and what she wants to do, I think, you know, giving a pathway for her and, and is no different than any other parent would want for their child. We just love that, you know, it's the new technology. It's it's the brand new school smell. You know, all of that is just is really great. Now, many parents are suggesting high school names and mascots, and we don't know the decision on that just yet, but we do know the school colors. It is burnt orange, uh, gunmetal gray and black. Now we will learn the school mascot and school name on December 8th. Reporting live in St. John's County, I'm Jocelyn Howard, First Coast News on your side.